that's it, I think. Yeah, bring us round now. Let's take us up to the boards. Three, four. So let it roll forward. Let it roll forward. Now go hard round. You see why I said stop? Yeah. Because now you've got the nose pointing that. You've got the wheel pointing that way. Yeah. There you go. All sorted down. Now just release the brakes. Let the aircraft roll. Looks like a nice day, Julian. Yeah. Do you want to call him? Golf Mike Hotel, ready for departure. Yeah. Golf Mike Hotel, ready for departure. Get ready to bring it to a stop. Golf Mike Hotel, runway 34, surface wind, westerly, less than five knots. Take off your discretion. Golf Mike Hotel. Golf Mike Hotel. If you call him while you're rolling, you get your clearance, you can just carry on rolling. But you've got to be prepared to stop. Yeah. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy, yeah. So look down the runway, release the brakes, heels on the floor, toes on the bottom section. Full power. As the aircraft accelerates down the runway. Temperatures in the green. Gently, gently pull back. That's it, support. Zulu, downwind for runway 34, push and go. Lower the nose, just a fraction. Golf India Zulu, report final. Wilco, Golf India Zulu. What I want you to do is climb to 1,000 and then level off. Golf Romeo Alpha, descend on the dead side, report downwind, the circuit is active with two in. Report downwind, circuit is active with two in. Golf Romeo Alpha. So after takeoff checks, flaps up, yep, up. landing lights off, both of them, that's it, engine T's and P's all within the green, the green. yeah, temperature a bit low but it's coming up. Looking good, yeah, climb to 1000 feet then level off and I'll give you further instructions after that, so just maintain the runway heading for the time being. You okay with that? Yeah, fine. She's got Fleetwood Mac going around in my head. <laughs> I like a lot of music, but for some reason, Fleetwood Mac's going around in my head. Golf Delta Alpha Basic Service report ready for rejoin. Good look round when you're ready. First of all, make sure you're happy, you're, you're level. Lower the nose, just a fraction. Good look round, and what I want you to do is a left turn onto a heading of two, 300 to begin with. 300. Left turn. Romeo, Romeo, downwind for life. So just maintain your Golf Romeo, Romeo, report line. final, one report ahead. Wilco, Golf Romeo, Romeo. So remember with the, when you ever turn, make sure you do have a good look out, just to make sure it's completely clear. What I'd like you to do is another further turn onto a heading of 270. Golf Romeo, I'll first see you just turning downwind. Do you visual with the Tomahawk mid to late downwind? Hey, for um, it was just student practice, yeah, we are, we are visual. Go from me, Alpha. Go from me, Alpha. Report final with two reported ahead following the tomahawk. Final number two, go from me, Alpha. Uh, Golf Echo November, overhead, Kin there. Height 1000 feet, Kin 8, QRT 1014. I'm just going 200 feet tonight. Golf Echo yeah. November, Roger, are you inbound now? Uh, All negative, right. there'll be a couple of orbits over Kin and then uh, we'll report for the rejoin. Roger. So just relax the hands, let the aircraft... Take degree information, student call box, uh, clear off the mic, overhead. Get him in, sir, request uh, good information. Golf India Zulu, runway 34, surface wind, westerly 6 knots, touch and go your discretion. So Julian, what I'd like you to do is maintain a climb. Maintain a heading of 270. Student Golf Oscar X-ray, Oscar Mike, hey, give information, good afternoon, I have your details. Again, runway 34, left hand. What I want you to do is commence to climb, maintain this heading of 270, climb the aircraft, I'll tell you when to level off and what to okay. do. OK, student Golf Oscar Mine, Power basic attitude. service, report airfield in sight. Basic service, work code, Golf Oscar Mine. Oh, 
Off my hotel, just leaving the zone to the northwest. Uh, going to go non radio for about 50 minutes. We'll call you on rejoin. Go off my hotel, Roger. Go off, Delta. So, remember climb speed? 70, yeah. Yep. So now's your chance to practice, yeah? That's it. Once you've set everything up, you've locked the throttle in nice and tight. You can use both hands on the control column to steer the aircraft. Now remember what I said on the ground, all climbing turns are done at 15 degrees. So 15 degrees is halfway between the first and second marker here, or 15 degrees is these markers here. Yep. Now what I want you to do is gently turn me onto a heading of 210, 210 degrees. That's it. That's nice. Look at the wing strut. It's not quite level with the ground, is it? But no. it's getting there, and that's what you would visually see. That's nice. As Mrs. Brown would say, that's nice. So. On my side, I've got Bridge North just down here, looking out towards um, the uh, um, Church Stretton and the Long Mint. So what I want you to do is turn me on to heading of 300. Continue to climb. 300. Yeah. Actually, have a good look around. Try not to over back. Just come back slightly. That's it. That's good. Now, when you roll wings level, just be, just have a little look at the pitch up attitude. Just to make sure you don't exceed what we've got at the moment. When you reach 3,000 feet, what I want you to do is level off for me. Okay. You all right? Yeah, fine. Happy? Yeah, happy, yeah. All right, uh, let's... Titty stone and... It is, yeah. Brown clean, titty stone at the back. What I want you to do is commence a descent for me. So... Descent. Yeah, so cobra heat on. Cobra top. Power back to about um, 1900. Lower the nose. This is a powered descent. We want to keep the speed up across the ground, like we mentioned before. Yeah. So I'm not looking to alter that. I'm just looking to get the aircraft to descend. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. 500 foot per minute. One. Now, as we descend, what I want you to do is turn me on to heading of 210. 210. Have a good look round. When are you back at work tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Do the guys know you're um, learning to fly? They do, yeah. <laughs> Taking the piss out of you, are they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Now, that's good. In a descending turn, you've got energy in the form of height, yeah? And you can use that energy by, by being able to increase the bank angle. Yeah. Well, keep going down. I want you to level off at 2,000 feet, though. And I want you to turn on to heading of 150 for me, 150 degrees. Okay. 
as you're in the turn to continue to have a good look out. You may have missed something, you never know. Not that you have, I'm just saying that you might have. Half it wins level eight and get ready to level off for us. Don't forget the carburetor heat. That's it. And bring the power back up to 2300. If you have trimmed the aircraft of the descent, you need to re trim to straighten level. Alright. Yeah, looking nice. That carburetor heat keeps coming out. Yeah, I mean, it's um, what's happened is it was a new carburetor heater about three months ago. So, as people have pulled it out, it slowly stretched it. Yeah, and it needs now, adjusting. now it needs adjusting again. Yeah, I don't believe it's switching the carburetor heat on because you can hear a visible change yeah, in the RPM can. when I do, and you can hear a visible change when you put it back yeah. in. I think that just the excess is just rebounding. Bridge North down there, in front of us we've got Chell Marsh Reservoir. What I'd like you to do is climb me up to 4,000 feet. Alright, 4,000 feet. So you could use the higher clouds as a bit of a reference. You know, you could pick a the formation of the clouds and use as a reference to help hold your track. Yeah. yeah? Help hold um, 150 degrees. While you get the aircraft settled. Now what I'd like you to turn and do is turn the auto heading of 240. 240. There's an aircraft passing right to left that way. He's away, a little bit away away from us, but we're turning away from him as well. If you look out now, you might be able to see him. No, not yet. Don't worry. He's down there somewhere. He'll be hiding in the colours of the fields and things. Well done. Mm -hmm. no, I can't, can't see him. He's behind us. He's out there behind us now. Don't worry about him. Unless, of course, he's turned. Ah, so keep looking out, keep feeling the aeroplane. I did, I made the assumption earlier, I don't really know, but you are married, aren't you? No. No? Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it feels like me. <laughs> you got a, got a, a living in girlfriend, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what she think of this? She says she's proud of me for doing it. Good. Yeah, it should be. She, en she enjoys coming over on a weekend. Oh, does she come with you? Yeah, on a, on a weekend she comes over. What I'd like you to do is turn me back to a heading of 180, 180 degrees. Mm. Now, we are going to look like we're going to enter a little bit of cloud. Yeah. Don't worry. 180. Mm. The rules are quite clear. You must stay visual yeah. inside of the surface. But this is only a small bit of cloud. Yep. Yeah. So just roll the wings level, don't worry, we're going to fly through the base of the cloud. It's only a small little bit, it's clear on the other side. And if it isn't, we've got plenty of height to lose to get visual. Yep. Yeah. Now cloud can be a little bit turbulent. Yep. So, just look at your instruments. There you go. Nice small movements. Mm -hmm. 
What I'd like you to do is turn me back to a heading of 270, 270 degrees. 270. Yeah. Now, as you climb, it is possible to come to your height before you're headed, or you're headed before your height. Yeah? Yeah. If you've been given a specific heading to fly, you must fly that heading. If you've been given a specific height to fly, you must fly that height. So, 2-4. Two 2-7. Two two seven. Yeah. So, if you get to your heading before your height, you must roll the wings level to stop turning, but keep the aircraft climbing. Yeah. Yep. Vice versa, if you get to the height before you're heading, you must stop the climb and level off, but keep the turn going. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Good. So what I want you to do is turn me on to 180, but level off at 4,000 feet. 180. You knew that was coming, didn't you? Yeah. So don't over back, don't rush the turn, because you're in a climb. Yep. There comes the height, so stop the aircraft climbing. Ah, oh, you cheat. <laughs> That's it. Don't worry. You just fly you said through. One, it. one eight zero, didn't you? One eight zero, yes, please. Remember, power first. You're doing great. Power first. There you go. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth. <laughs> I wasn't a poet. <laughs> Isn't it lovely dancing between the little clouds? Right, what I want you to do is commence to climb. Let's go up to 5,000 feet, all right? Up to 5,000 feet, yeah. Maintain 180 for the time being. There are different types of air traffic control services that you can get. We typically use a basic service, which means air traffic will just give us exactly that, basic information. Yeah. But I can ask for a traffic service, which means, can you tell me where everybody is in my vicinity, yeah. around me? Can you help keep me clear? Or I can ask for a full radar service, and a full radar service means they will tell you to go left, right, or down, in, out, shake it all about. Yeah. yeah. Now, we typically do not ask for a radar service because we're flying VFR in the open flight information region. Yeah. Yeah. And you won't typically get that type of service. Yeah. You typically a radar service in Class D or higher airspace, typically. What I'd like you to do is turn me on to heading of 240, please. 240. When the time comes, I will take you through Birmingham's Class D airspace, and I'll take you over Birmingham. Yeah. And we'll do it as a navigation, point to point. Yep. And then they'll give you they'll give you um, commands. Yeah. And we'll go right over the top of um, Birmingham Airport, right through their overhead. And if we're lucky, we'll do it on a clear day like today. And you'll be able to see any traffic. That's around. It's honestly, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that it is. Right, we're at 270. That's nice. Yeah. Remember, if you also want to take a photograph, please just let me know. Just say, yeah, I've got it all on my camera. Sorry. Um, sure, I'd forgot about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd forgot about the camera. Plane down there on our four o'clock, three o'clock.
OK. Oh, I've got him, yeah. Same track as us. He's batting along a bit, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, he's well below us, so just hold your... Um, hold your head in. Well, well spotted. So just look at your airspeed, it's slightly lower, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. So, just leave the power up there at full just for a little bit longer. Let the aircraft accelerate. Yeah? Remember top of the climb, attitude, hold. Give the aircraft time to accelerate. Speed equals lift. Yeah? If you haven't got the correct, or close to the correct airspeed, you're going to sink. Yeah. yeah. Coming up to 90 knots. He's batting along, he's out over there now. Now, you, now it's ideal. Yeah, here you go. Easy bat, 2300. So just in case you're interested, we're, we're 250 feet below being one mile high. Yeah. Right. Something like 5,280 feet, something like that. Temperatures in the green, yeah. Right to level, 240. Yeah. Shopton Airfield's right out on the nose. Um, I think I could see it. There's a, there's a right seed field, quite a large one with some green trees in the centre of it. Can you see it? Just just below, just above the nose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the right seed field's there, the trees are sort of just at this end of the field. Yeah. Come across slightly, there's a field going away from you like that, and I think that might be shopping. At this distance, it's difficult to tell. But right, let's look at a little bit of slow flight while we're up here, yeah? Yeah, okay. And then we'll do descending in, in the other stream. So, I'm going to talk you through it and let you have a go. There's nothing wrong with slow flight, but what you've got to think about slow flight is where am I going to use this typically in the circuit? Yeah. You might have an aircraft in front of you, a little bit too close downwind, and you want to slow the aircraft down. I'm dead against orbits in the circuit, because if you turn and do an orbit in a circuit, you meet the traffic behind you, yeah. and that's a risk. So the better, better idea is to slow it down. The other thing, we've got to learn to slow the aircraft down when we set it up in the landing configuration to land the aircraft. So this exercise is about going through that transition from straight level cruise like we are now, into slow flight so we don't need to do any checks yet because we're not doing anything other than going in a straight line okay yeah so first things first put the carburetor heat to hot and what i want you to do is bring the air the the throttle back to 2000 rpm reduce it to 2000 rpm naturally the aircraft nose wants to dip slightly the aircraft yeah. wants to sink but the object is not to lose height yes right? i'm holding it up yeah so you've got to begin to support it you've got to generate the lift by gently raising the nose 75 knots yeah, just bring the power up just a fraction here's ludlow Okay. You see, 75 knots downwind, still great. And the aircraft that will be in front of us will be gently pulling away from us because they'll be doing 80, 85, 90. Yeah? Yeah, okay. There's Ludlow. What I want you to do is fly me up that gap in the clouds just over Ludlow. Mind your height, don't descend. So do everything you can not to descend, right? What I'd like you to do is when you're happy and you're settled is put one stage of flap down. There you go. Did you notice anything happen? RPM, the speed dropped. Yeah. Just bring the power back up to 20. Right. 
speed dropped yet. All right. We're beginning to just gently lose height as well, aren't we? So yeah. you've got to increase the angle of attack to maintain our height. That's good. I'm that's down nice. to 60 there now. Don't worry. Don't worry. So, what I now want you to do is put the second stage of flap down to 20 degrees. Second. That's it. Feel the nose go up? Yeah. yeah. Just quickly check your RPM. Look at our speed, 55 knots. Yeah, it's low. But we're still flying and we're still straight and level. Yeah. Yeah. So the flaps are doing their job, aren't they? They're generating lift, but they're generating drag. We seem to be crawling along now. Yeah, we're down to uh, 50 knots, yeah. Okay. Put full flap down. Those wants to pitch up, just pitch forward slightly. That's a storm order. Yeah. Yep. The idea is we just try our best to maintain the height. Now with full flap down, you're, you're balancing on the edge of the storm warner, aren't you? Yeah. Now look where the storm warner's come on, it's come on to about 48 knots. Yeah. yeah. I'm losing height now as well. Yeah, so don't pull back. If anything, squeeze forward. All right. That storm warner comes on five knots above the stall. So if it come on at 48, the stall is at 43. Yeah? Yeah. Remember those numbers with flap down, 48 knots flap down. All right. Yeah. What I want you to do I'm is... losing right now. Yeah, so. that's OK, don't worry. What I want you to do is clean the flap up one by one. Just remove one stage of flap. OK. Yeah. And the opposite's going to happen, yeah? Yeah. Even though I've said maintain your height, I know it's virtually impossible to <laughs> maintain Good. your height. That's exactly why I do this, so to prove it to you, you know. Right. Okay. So I've let the cat out of the bag there. No matter how hard you try, you virtually can't keep it level at this no. power setting. So let's clean one, the second stage of flap up, bring it back up to 10. No, no, no. 10. Back up to 10 there. Yeah. That's it. All right. Now look, you're not adjusting the RPM at all. I don't want yeah. you to adjust, but look, it's just slowly coming up. That's because of pitch. We're taking the weight off the no, off yeah. the, the propeller, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Speed's beginning to come up. And look at this, we're just about getting a little bit of rate of climb. Okay, what I want you to do is get rid of the flap completely. Get right up. Now, carburetor eating full power. Let's climb back to 5,000 feet. Nicely done. Remember 70 knots in the climb. What I'm trying to do with you, Julian, is expand your boundaries of confidence with the aircraft slowly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And just show you how far you can push the aeroplane. Now, what I'd like you to do is gently turn in the climb onto a heading of 330, 330 degrees. 330. Yeah. That's it, power attitude trim, if you need to trim it, feel free, don't ask me, yeah? Yeah. Because the other thing I'm trying to do is let you do it, so you become comfortable in just doing it, yeah? If I think you're doing something wrong, we'll have a chat about it, yeah? Okay. I just want you to have a go. So level off there for us. You know the old saying, there's many ways to skin the cat, isn't there? Exactly. Yeah. So, there you go. 
In front of us we've got the Long Mint, looking out towards Knighton in that direction. Over on my side we've got the Titstone Clee here with the dome on it, yeah. the Brown Clee over there. Alright, so, let's have another go at that, yeah. What I want you to try and do is be a bit more fluid with it, a little bit, try it a little bit quicker, yeah. yeah. Imagine we're setting the aircraft up for a descent to the runway. It's basically cobra heat on, power back 1500, don't, don't action this, don't action this. Power yeah. back 1500, hold the nose up, slow it down, two flap, bang, down we go. Nice and quick. I know you're not there yet, but you will get there. Yeah. Yeah. So what I want you to do is, once again, put the cobra heat on. Nice and smoothly back to 20 on the RPM. Support the nose right away, because look, look, as soon as you pull the power, look at it, go. Yeah. So a little bit more, a little bit more, pull back, pull back, more positive, pull back, go on. Support the nose, don't let it sink, we've already lost 100 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring your power back to 20, otherwise you are certainly going to lose height. That's it. One stage of flapping. That's it. Now just let the aircraft settle, great, great, yep, trim it if necessary. Feel the aircraft, then get the second stage of flapping. Just check the nose rise. That's it. Third stage of flap going in. There you go. Look how much better you're holding that height now. Yeah, it can be done. Can be done, that's good. So trim it, when you're ready, just gently take your hands off and pull them back on so I can see, yeah, that's lovely. Put your hands off. All right. So what we want to, what um, I'm going to ask you to do now is to tidy the aircraft up, bring the flap back up one by one, then revert the aircraft back to straight and level without losing any more height. All right, okay. try it. So flap up one by one, let it settle. Do your best not to lose any height. Get the other flap up. As it let it settle. Retrim if necessary. Get the final stage of flap up. Cobber team going in. Now, full power, let's climb back to 5,000 feet. There you go, you only lost 300 feet this time. You're already at 70 knots, so don't raise the nose, let the aircraft accelerate. Lovely. You may be asked to demonstrate that on the test. Yeah. All right. Is it 330 we're on? 330, yeah. Don't be, don't, but don't worry too much. Just hold it there for the time being. When you go and do your test, the test falls into three parts. One is a navigation section. The second is what we call upper air work, where you show him a stall, you show him a PFL, you show him steep turns, all of which we've got to go and do. Yeah. Yeah. And between each of those, he wants you to follow whatever height or whatever heading that you're on. He doesn't want you to just meander around. Yeah. So, for example, you've got 300 now, you'd stay on 300 and you'd fly the aircraft on 300 until he asked you to do the next demo. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. So, this is what I'm trying to condition you for already to make sure you hold your heights, hold your headings. All right. Let's um, turn on to a heading of 0, 060, 0, 60 degrees. 0, 060. 0. Thank you. 
So we're at 5,000 feet, yeah? Yeah. Let's commence a powered descent down to 3,000. Powered descent, so yep. 1,800. Yep. Below the green arc that we've put on. Remember, carburetor heat because you're coming below the green arc. And we want about five to 600 foot per minute rate of descent. Just to reiterate, the idea of a power descent is to keep the momentum, the speed up over the ground. That's it. Lovely. What I'd like you to do now is a turn on to 180. 180. I know you know this, but just to reiterate, descending turns can be made to 30 degrees because you've got NG in the form of height. Yeah. Four thousand. Three thousand for me, please. Three thousand. Yeah. There is a reason for this. And what I'd like you to do is turn my heading of zero nine zero. Zero nine zero. On reaching 3,000 feet, I want you to level off. On reaching 090, I want you to fly straight. So it looks nice on the ground, but it's a little bit more hazy up here, isn't it? it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A plane over there, two o'clock. Um, could be. However, I suspect it's probably a reflection, reflection of the sun off a window, which just happens to be angled at such a angle that we gain the glint of light. But always assume it's an aeroplane. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Level off. Level off. Go on, car beating. Car beating. Power coming back up. A little bit quicker with that, Julian, because you will sink the uh, below the height if you don't. Well done. That's it. Attitude and power, then settle, trip. Now, another configuration you might find yourself in is you'll be sitting on the end of the runway ready to take off and you'll use flap, yeah? Yeah. Flapping the lower settings, 10, 20 degrees, can assist us to climb. You've probably read that in the book, yep. So, what I want you to do is enter a climb at 70 knots. Don't worry about the cloud. Now today, the climb speed for you is always 70, irrespective of what we do with the flaps. Yeah? Yeah. Always. Now, by me saying always, that'll probably give the game away, that it's not always 70. But, <laughs> today for you. Julian Richards, today for you, it's 70 knots. <laughs> so what I'd like you to do is, just put a stage of flap down, just one stage of flap, 10 degrees. All right. 
Now, look at the speed it wants to fluctuate down, doesn't it? Which yeah, is it what did, we yeah. saw earlier. Dropping it. Yeah. yeah. Well, just let it settle. And what I'd like you to do is a turn to 180 again for me. 180. So 15 degree back turn, nice and gentle. Follow the rules for the, top for the time being. Follow the rules. Just go down that gap there. So we just skirt the edge of this one. So accept that headed. Yeah. All right. Now what I want you to do is just put a second stage of flap now. And I want you to fly the aircraft at 70 knots, 70. What's happening to the um, climb, Julian? <laughs> 70 knots, yeah, that's sorry. the climb speed of the aircraft. Yeah? I'm trying to keep the climb. Speed, ah. but it's dropping off. Remember, the second variable I want you to do is climb at 70 knots, 70. Yeah? So in order to maintain 70, you've got to lower the nose, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm trying to get you to think about. Yeah. So, by putting the flap down at the higher setting, yeah. your climb rate is going to be less. Yeah. Go to full flap and climb it at 70 knots. Go on. Put the flap down, let them take, there they go. That's it. They're going down, you can feel them go down. Now, try and get 70 knots on the airspeed indicator. Go on, lower the nose. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to do is get you to feel and work the airplane. Look, look at the rate of climb. Yeah, I'm you're I'm at 60 knots. I've hardly got anything. And you've hardly got nothing. Do you find that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, turn us in this direction, keep us out of the clouds, just down here. Don't worry about the heading, bring us down in the clear air. What I want you to do is investigate the airplane. Yep. So it's clear that we're full flap down, we ain't going anywhere, is it? No. Yep. Ah, so just stick it there. Clean one of the stages of flap up. And just keep the speed at 70 knots for the time being. All right. Ah, so work it. Remember attitude. Power's the same. Attitude's train change. You may need to trim it. As the flaps retract, look at your speed, it's now going up, so you can afford to pitch the nose up again. Where I'm going with this is, whenever, if you take off, the maximum flap you should ever use on this little aircraft, if you take off, is two, two stage, 20 degrees. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it'll get airborne with two stage. It'll get airborne with one, but I really wouldn't push it. Clean. Next one up, come back to 10 degrees on the flap. You feel the nose wants to drop. Yeah. Nose drops, airspeed accelerates. That means you can afford to pitch up into the climb a bit more. Yeah? Go on, pitch it up. 70 knots. Now, clean the last stage of flap up. Maintain 70 knots. Let the aircraft settle. I think I've got a splinter. And you're going, fucking concentrate with me, you bastard. That's what I was just looking at. <laughs> I thought he's not looking out the window. <laughs> you're flying here, you don't yeah. need me now. Oh, I know. <laughs> When you reach 5,000 feet, let's level off again. It's lovely up here, isn't it? It is, yeah. Different world completely, isn't it? Wonderful. Me, you, the aircraft and the clouds.
So the Morven Hills are down there. Kidderminster's over there. What I want you to do is turn me on heading of 210, 210 degrees. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate to you a stall because next lesson what we're going to look at is slow flight and stalling all right, okay, yeah. and how to get out of a stall. But what is a stall? Do you know what a stall is in an aeroplane? Basically when we're not creating enough lift. Not Correct, stars. yeah. It's nothing to do with the engine. No. The engine could be going full power. But if we destroy the lift across the wings, the aircraft can't fly. No. All right. Now, I'm going to demo you one. So, what I'm going to do is a set of checks called a hazel check. All right, height sufficient to recover by 3,000 feet, yeah? Yeah. Well, everything's secure. Well, the, the main thing there is is the um, is the fire extinguisher secure because I don't want that fucking hitting us because that's going to cause us some damage. The rest yeah. is quite small. It's going to hurt, but it ain't going to knock us out. Yeah? Yeah. Safety, harnesses nice and tight, especially the lap strap. Shoulder strap reasonably tight, but not overly. Engine tees are all good. Let's just check, flood the engine. Heights all good, ammo to suction, yeah, all fine. Temperature pressure gauge is good. Location clear of cloud, controlled airspace and built up areas. And what I'm gonna do, follow me through. I'll demo this one to you. We won't do any more after this today, but next time we certainly will because I still want to go through some descending and descending turns and turns with flaps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Clear hills, just in front of us. All right. Yeah. So, copper detail, power coming back. What I'm going to do is just idly engine. I'm going to support the nose, and at some point in time, the stall warner will come on, and the aircraft will stall. There's a stall warner, come on at about 55. Yeah. And we're just going to hold it straight, keep it in balance. Is the aircraft stalled? It is now. It is now. <laughs> there it is. There it and is. And you can see, look, at we're going down. Yeah. The aircraft, don't, don't try and correct it. We just try and hold it there. Now, if I just relax the pressure, I've restored the flow of the air across the wing, haven't I? Yeah. 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 So the aircraft's now flying again. Stall warner's gone out. I'm just going to climb it back. Well, look how much height I lost, 300 yeah. feet. Way too much height, especially if we're on final approach. Now, as we climb up, I'm having a good look out, so I'm going height sufficient to recover by 3,000 feet yet. Engine T's and P's are all looking good. I'm not going to put the carburetor heat on because I've got full power. Location clear of cloud, controlled airspace, built up area, all looking good. Golf course down there, we can certainly land on that. Clearing turns okay. Down your side, no major built up areas. No. Right deck directly beneath us. No so point. what I'm going to do is just gently lower the nose. Power back to idle, carburetor heat on, power back to idle, support the nose again. This time I'm going to show you what to do if you do encounter a stall. Stall recovery with minimum height loss. So, dozy pilot, you'd normally recover at that point. Yeah. Yep. Just going to hold it in. She's now sinking, so she's stalled. Yep. She's going to start vibrating. You feel the vibration? Yeah. So, to recover, carbine, full power, power, lower the nose. Lower just hold it there, let the aircraft accelerate. Speed's coming up, look, 150 feet. We can get it even tighter than that if we go at the point the stall warner comes on. Yeah. And we'll look at that next lesson, all okay, right? Yeah.
Can I stall the aircraft? No. Yes, I can. Oh, like this, It'll yeah. stall, it won't it? Like, yeah. It's done like this. Even with full <laughs> power, it'll stall. <laughs> Come on, old girl. All right, you have control. I have control. Now, next time, I'll demo three types of stalls to you, which you've got to demonstrate to the examiner. Okay. And then I'll you'll practice each one about three times each. All right. Yeah. Take us over on a heading of say three hundred. Now we're gently going to make our way back towards the airfield. Yep. Yeah. But before we do, today we've looked at climbing and descending turns. We've looked at slow flight and the use of flap. We've looked at climbs with flap. What are we going to do now? Descent with descent flap. With flap yeah. yeah. So, first of all, set the aircraft up in the descent. Cobra T Tom. Oh, Power to about 18 to 1900. And you see we've got about 85, 87 knots. And that's the sort of speed we want to, to continue. There's a the clear hills with the dome on top. Yep. It's stone clear, so the airfield's that sort of direction. Don't turn, not yet. What I want you to do is put a stage of flap down. Oh, the nose wants to pitch up. Gently check it. Put another stage of flap down. Oh, there goes the nose. Gently check it forward. Now look at that airspeed. Yeah, There's got nothing you can do about it. No. All right, you're in the flap limiting arc, so you're safe structurally. All right, which is a consideration we're going to get used to when we go in a circuit. Now go full flap down. Jiggling a little bit underneath yeah, the can you? Yeah. Now what I want you to do is take me in this direction. Turn me on to heading of zero three zero, thirty degrees. Zero three zero. Does it feel like it's coming down a lot quicker? Yeah. Now you're still able to turn to thirty degrees because you've got kinetic energy in the form of height. Yeah? Yeah. So please do your best to have a go again, it's 30 degrees, I want you to see it up there. And there is a reason for everything that we're doing, because when we go in the circuit, this is what you'll be doing. Yeah, that's uh, the airfield there, isn't it? I hope not, I no. should be out over there. All right, look, ADF pointing in that yeah. direction. What I want you to do now is turn me back onto heading of 300. 300. Yeah. You'll get used to it. <laughs> Go on, take us up to 300, take us up to 30 degree back, and that's out towards the clear hill again. That's it. Now what I want you to do, sorry, clean the flap up one by one. Go to 20 degrees. Feels like a brake's coming off, can you feel it? Yeah. yeah. Keep descending, because we're going to go down to 3,000 feet, then we're going to level off. Next day to flap up. Can you feel it? It's like you're taking a break off, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the speed, it's beginning to come up. We're now very close to the, the flap limiting speed. So let's get to the other stage of flap up. That's it. And what I want you to do is level off at three for me, all right. You enjoyed this today? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Mm. That's it, just good car beats in. This little town here, there's obviously the um, top of the Clear Hills, Titstone, Brown. See the little town here? Yeah. Bridge North. No, yeah. not Bridge North. Cleebury Mortimer. Right, okay. Yeah. 
So I would like you to do when you wrestle control of the aircraft back from the weather. <laughs> it's turned me off to heading of um, 030 again, 30 degrees. 030. Yes, please. I just lost a mic there. Alright, don't worry, don't lose any more. Alright, do your best to fly straight, level. A little bit of turbulence felt? Yeah, just a bit, yeah. Any um, idea why we might have all of a sudden picked up turbulence? It's the heat coming up off the ground, isn't it? Yeah, plus, obviously, here we've got clear hills, high yeah, ground, so up. Yeah. forcing any air to move upwards and downwards. Just flight strain level for us. Now, in the cockpit, we've got this little gadget here. It's called an ADF, ADF Automatic yeah. Directional Finder. And there's its its radio. And it's on 356, right? And it's saying ADF. If I press that, it goes to ant, antennae, and it swings the needle. So when I press it back to ADF, that needle goes back to the same place. Okay, yeah. That means that's a fair reflection of where the airfield is. It's not perfect because it's it's a medium wave frequency um, piece of kit yeah. and it'll oscillate slightly based on where it thinks the airfield is but to get yourself home at this sort of range which is 11 miles this is a dme tuned into eight degrees dme frequency yeah. so the aircraft the airfield's 11 miles in this sort of direction out in front of us give or take 10 degrees either side of the nose yeah you know? so there's the clues inside the aircraft. Yep. Try not to lose any height. Bring your power up to 23. That's probably why. Always ask yourself the question. If, you, if you're not getting the performance you think you should be getting, ask yourself exactly that point. Why? Yeah, have a look. Don't gain any height. Just don't lose any for me at the moment. Now, as we look out there, we've got a built-up area just slightly to the left of the nose. Can you see it? I can, yeah. That's pretty That's pretty yeah. Cool. yeah. On the nose, I can just make out a patch of water, a very shallow angle. That's Chelmarsh Res Reservoir. And here on my side of the nose, to the right, right, is another built-up area, which is highly. All right? Yeah. Hopefully those are all names you're familiar with. I've heard before? Yeah, I've heard them before. And I'll keep arcing on about that. When you're ready, tell me to shut up, and then I know you know where you are. The reek, you know. Go fix the mic, say again. Absolutely. Go fix the mic, it's uh, downwind for 3 4 left. Go fix the mic, Roger. Go Oscar Echo, can you see a gyro ahead? A negative, go Oscar Echo. What about uh, midpoint downwind? So, we need to come round slightly over here. We need to fly a heading of about zero four zero, all right, forty degrees. Wings level there. Now look out to the horizon and then start to come back. Oscar, yeah. you got a position of the driver. As you go come back, back echo from the horizon, left base, just about turn final. you can see some flats in the Merc. Well, you see off, them? Okay. Some high-rise buildings in the Merc. Just about, yeah. Yep, that's Wolverhampton. If you come back a similar sort of distance, you've then got a couple of rain seasons, which look like that. One here, one here. And the airfield situated Golf, between Oscar the two Mike, racing radar, fields. Radar, thanks That's assuming thanks you've got the same rain seed fields as well. Goodbye, Golf, Oscar Mike. Golf, Oscar Mike, Oscar Mike, final Golf, 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 Oscar Mike, runway 34, surface wind 340 degrees, 0, 06 knots. I want to call inbound. Tell them we're coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to have a go? I can do, yeah. Yeah. So, AP Green information. Got to find my pen now. <laughs> Don't worry. Let me talk you through it. Oh, it's down here. That's 
it. I've got it now. So, the call is Amy Green Information Golf, Juliet India Mike Hotel, Hoyley, 2,500 feet, and I'll tell you why in a minute, 2,500 feet inbound. Alright, let's have a little listen to the radio. So, Amy Green Information Golf, Juliet India Mike Hotel, Hoyley, 2,500 feet, feet inbound. inbound. Give them a call when you're ready. Acne Green Information, Julia India Mike Hotel, Hoyley, 2,500 feet, inbound. Golf Julia India Mike Hotel, standby. Break, break, golf, Victor Mike, sorry, it's all the way to the end, please, and turn left onto our runway 2-2. Yeah, I'll come to that. He'll come back to you. Golf Juliet Indian Mike Hotel, Hayley Green Radio, Runway News is 34, the QFE is 1013. Runway 3 Runway 34, QFE 1013. Golf Mike Hotel. Bang, lovely. Well done. So, just fly the aircraft level now. See the flaps in the distance, which is trying to come out of the, the loop. Golf Oscar yeah. Echo, uh, final three Just ball. above the nose, just lower the nose. Golf Oscar slightly. Echo, you runway can see the airfield point. there, there's a one, two, three, four. Golf Oscar Echo. Rapeseed fields, it's sort of a, an arc like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The airfield sits in between them. Do you see it? Yeah. See the runway? Now. Golf Oscar Echo. Golf Oscar Echo. If we can set the QFE for the airfield yeah, on, on yeah, the yeah, um, yeah. altimeter. One, zero, one, three. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, 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 1013. Not 1003, 1013. All the way to the end of runway 22, left at the end, and then park on the hard standing on there the you far go. side of the town. You'll get used to it. Yeah, come with us. Alright. So, look, we've wound off height, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. So, just keep flying. We'll fly over the airfield, and the left-hand pattern is on our side as we come up to the airfield, yeah? So the... Golf Mike Hotel, traffic is uh, Grob 115 in our left-hand circuit. Golf Mike Hotel, copy traffic. Golf Mike Hotel, copy traffic. That's it. Fingers just slightly to the... Um, see the airfield now there? Don't look too far. Don't descend. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, fly it straight and level. Yeah. And just look out this side when you see the airfield. Don't turn away from the airfield any either. We want to go to the numbers with three, four on them. Yeah. Yep. So we're on the dead side at the minute, aren't we? No, we're on the live side. Live side. Now, this is why I don't want to descend. I want to get you overhead so you can have a look at the, the airfield. And the height we've got is excellent. That's exactly what we need. Looks like an aircraft just over there to our left, low, possibly in the circuit, possibly the grobby mentioned to us. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. All right. I've got it. Now come back to your target, because the nose is slightly banking off, we don't want to go too far away, we want to get to the overhead. Looking good, Julian. Keep Very going. Down here, yeah. Yeah. I think he's coming round behind us. That's all right, he's just positioned himself in the downwind. Yeah, that's downwind coming towards Correct. us. Correct, downwind coming yeah, towards is, us, yeah. That's all right, we well, can see him. Now we're ready for taxi and departure, and then we depart to the south east, please. Electricity 99, runway 34, QNH 1024. There will be runway 24, what QNH is 1024? I was a bit early, I need to wait 40 seconds. Electricity 99, Roger. Now tell me when we're over at the airfield, because I can't see it. We're over at the airfield now. Just about to cross 3-4. Cross the active runway. OK, just call him. Got Mike Hotel overhead to descend dead side. Golf Mike Hotel, overhead to de descend dead side. Lovely. Golf Mike Hotel, Roger. OK, cover to you, Tom. Power back to uh, about 17, 18. Echo, roger. Descend and left turn. Left turn and descend. Hang on, we've done this before. Keep going. Keep uh, going. Nice and right. Keep going. 
Electricity 99, uh, nothing known to affect taxi um, heli south.